Anyways. <laughs> we're team building. Uh, I don't know what I want to team build around. Obviously, we're only doing like 30 minutes worth of team building, but uh, there are there are a few things that we can look into. There are a couple of Ultra Beasts I want to use. Spike a Myth Cup. Um, there you go. How do I want to team build? I don't know. Just throw out some suggestions, Chip. Canto Moltres? Eh. I feel like I've used Canto Moltres a ton. Hey, thanks for the follow, Crane. Guzzlord? Ooh, Guzzlord could be interesting. Drapion, not a big Drapion fan. Did I miss my team review, Redeem? I don't think so. Did you actually throw one out there? Oh, you did. Do you mind if we do it on Saturday? <laughs> because I only have 30 minutes left in the stream and I want to make sure I actually team build today. Haxorus, I'm currently breeding for a shiny Haxorus. Age actually, I really want to build Age Slash. I want to build Age Slash. Let's do that. Age Slash is pretty cool. And Age Slash was actually historically very bad in, in uh, previous Sword and Shield formats. So that's pretty exciting. Sorry. Here we go. Music's too low key. There we go. So Age Slash is interesting. Uh, the reason that it was bad before was basically that it couldn't do what it needed to do. If you Dynamaxed an Aegis Slash, offensive moves would activate Sword Form, but Shield Form would never activate, even with like Protect or Max Guard. So that's that's the main drawback with it. But now it can actually do stuff. Um, I don't know if Weakness Policy is the uh, the correct one, the correct play here, but there are a few options. Are you gonna sell those hats from Twitter? I'm gonna make a few of them. I'm gonna make a few of them. Some of them might need to be reworded to avoid copyright because I'm pretty sure I can't put Will-O-Wisp on a hat, uh, but I can probably put Burn. 0 for 3 on landing Burn today, like that sort of thing. But yeah. Um, let me think. So what does Aegislash really do? As far as Pokemon that it beats, can we please get Spike Myth info on this? Please. Uh, obviously, Close Combat is really nice for beating Incineroar. Hmm. King Shield. Oh, should we run King Shield? Mm, no. What do you think? I kind of want to do Swords Dance because I don't believe it activates Sword Form, ironically enough. But a special attacker might also be pretty nice. Hmm. I mean, we could do no King Shield if I end up running um Choice Band. Choice Band Aegislash is a real set that you can do if you're brave enough. It gets electric moves. Why does it get electric moves? It gets after you. Oh my god, best Trick Room Pokemon? Let's build a skeleton of a team first, I suppose. Um... So, if we're going to build a skeleton of a team, it's a Steel Ghost type, so it is a pretty decent lead mon. Let's get Taunt. No, I probably wouldn't want to run it anyways, but um, it's pretty decent on lead. Versus Urshifu, we can probably invest to live in like Revenge Kill with Close Combat. Uh, but probably not that great. We would want to Intimidate it. No, we can't because it's going to use its, its crit move. Uh, da, da, da. Is Clefairy good with it? I'm kind of on a Clefairy kick right now. I don't think so. Tapu Finny is generally like just a really solid pick. So it also prevents burn. We could do Specs Finny. Oh, wait, let's, you know what? You know what? Let's do that. I want to play Specs Finny. I really do. We're using Incineroar because I want to. Not because it's good, but because I want to. Haters are going to hate. I think it's a good Pokemon. Controversial, but I think it is very good. Um. What's a good EV spit from Clefairy? I mean, I have one. I don't know if it's really all that good. I just kind of threw it together. So I'm not going to personally recommend it, but I would just ask around. Hmm. I feel like Sand works for this team. We could do like a Dracozolt, or yeah, Dracozolt, Tyranitar. I have a bit of a ground weakness, if you haven't noticed, so maybe Rillaboom is the last Mon. 
I mean, that's pretty interesting. We do have a huge ground weakness, though. Maybe I could drop Incinera for, like, Landorus. That actually might be better. That's actually really good. I like this. Let's try this. I do want to run this. Galar Zap. I could do Galar Zap, but I think I, I want to use AV Lando because I think AV Lando is a really good set. Anyone who says that there isn't a good AV Lando set is a liar and a scoundrel. Also, I already have this Lando in game, so I'm, I'm going to use it. Rotom Washer, Rotom Oak could cover your weaknesses. That's true, but I already said I'm going to use Specs Finny. Uh, I need like a fairy type is the thing and fairy water is like just generally really good. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to roll with it. I think Lando Rillaboom covers the option well enough. I don't know if I really need a fire type. I don't I don't know. We could do goggles Aegislash as well. Very unnecessary with Finny around to be honest. Uh, Life Orb. Bolt Beak, High Horsepower, Dragon Claw, even though we probably won't click it that much. Protect. Can I run Adamant? Yeah, I can run Adamant. I can get away with that. 127 times 2. 250, or uh, I probably have to run Jolly. 139. I'm pretty sure that's literally just barely enough to outspeed Reggie Lucky. That might be on purpose. That that is literally definitely on purpose. That is definitely on purpose. Okay, we'll do Jolly so we can outspeed Reggie Lucky. Um, I have a Rillaboom set already that I'm just gonna steal. That's the AV set. Where's the not AV set? Here's the not AV set. Hmm. Um. You know, I am lacking speed control. That isn't that great. I mean, I kind of have it, but it kind of doesn't count as well. You could argue it doesn't count at all. Let me think. Uh, I think Protect is probably the play there. Protect, um... Rock Slide. Flash Out over Crunch. Hmm. Maybe I dropped the Lando for something. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me save this Lando and let me look into uh, Alternative Intimidators. Gyarados, eh, Salamence, Crocodile, Incineroar. I think we'll probably stick with it. It just seems reliable. We have lots of Urshfu water counters, so we're probably fine. Yeah. Do I want to do D-Dance? I could do D-Dance as like a setup mon. Let's try it. Um, what do I need to outspeed Dragapult at plus one? He's 213. Pretty sure I can't. 142. Yeah, we, we're just a bit below that. Yeah. Um, is this format only on Showdown? It is only on Showdown officially, but you can also play it on like ladder tours that people set up. Hmm. Do I want to go White Herb? Maybe I don't go Dragon Dance. Maybe I just like Tech on a move. Bulldoze wouldn't be that bad. Taunt also isn't terrible. Kind of feeling Taunt. What 
What if I did goggles taunt? That'd be kind of insane. Snarl, the based set. I could just toss on Ice Punch. I think I toss on Ice Punch. Yeah. Goggles Ice Punch doesn't seem that bad. Alright, King Shield. Uh, do I want to be a physical or special attacker? Physical, physical, special, special. It's, it's a little bit up in the air. I can do whatever I need to. Um, I kind of want to bring back the weakness policy. I kind of want to bring back the weakness policy. Like, it could be decent. Let's go physical weakness policy. Got a sneak close combat iron head. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa, Digital Pickle, I don't think I used that word exactly. I think I called them cowards. Okay, um... Yeah, I already did the reaction, now I'm just doing some quick team building. What's it gonna take to eat a, a Rillaboom, or an Urshifu hit? Why am I calm? Oh my god. Hold on. Let's go, uh, Adamant. I mean, yeah, we're basically eating everything at that point. Let's do that. What is that? 140? Bet. Easiest spread of my life. Uh, do I want any speed? Let me think. What do I want to outspeed? I want to outspeed like Incineroar. That's actually probably a really good idea. But then again, I kind of don't. I would like to underspeed it at times. Maybe I just do like one for like absolute minimum speed Incineroars. I don't know. I'm trying to. This is actually kind of a weird one. How fast are Incineroars in this format? Let's just take my Incineroar spread. 28. Eight, all right, let's do let's do 85. 85 is not a bad number. That's that's a pretty decent number. Wait. Hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think this is a fine spread. Why not? Okay. Uh, let me check something. At plus one, if we're assuming we got intimidated. Yeah, that chaos. Okay, I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Uh, as for the Specs Finny, let's just do like the 108 speed set. And just, just kind of yellow the rest, you feel? Let's just yellow the rest, why not? The trick here is just to mess with them. Just make them think, ah oh, yes, the Finny, it will want to calm mind. Moonblast, Muddy Water, um, Ice Beam. And Dazzling Gleam? Yeah, Dazzling Gleam. It'd be like, any sane Finny player would do this. Alright, uh, this is 61 speed. Let's just make this 86. Why not? Alright, uh, let's grab a few games. I'm like, very middle of the road on the ladder. Where am I? Spike Myth Cop. 1360, yeah. I'm like very mid ladder. I found out the other day because someone pointed it out to me that um, Spike Myth Cup doesn't have nearly as many players as we thought. So mid ladder is actually a lot lower than you'd think. All right. 
Let's get some games. Guess I should review the team first for anyone watching on YouTube. We have Aegis Slash with the weakness policy, stance change, King Shield, Shadow Sneak, Close Combat, Iron Head. Um, we got. Sorry, I just saw that there was a Reggie Steel on my screen and panicked. Specs Tapu Fini. Life Orb Drake Azult Standard. Oh, we are Volt Absorb. Oopsies. <laughs> this first game we're going to be playing with Volt Absorb. We got to deal with it, okay? Uh, we have Safety Goggles, Tyranitar, Protect, Lash Out, Ice Punch, um, Rock Slide, Miracle Seed, Rillaboom, and Salt Vest. Dude. We just built this team in like five minutes. I, honestly, the, the lead Tapu Fini doesn't seem that bad. It actually seems kind of nasty if we're being real. Um, let's go Rilla Finny. Rilla Finny, uh, Titar, Aegis Slash. Why not? Why not Aegis Slash? Why not? I implore you to answer that question. Why not Aegis Slash? All right. My Rilla Boom went first. Let's just like annoy them. Oh my god, I wish I had a move to just annihilate this Registeel, but I have to go with Muddy Water. But I have to- I could Specs- let's Specs Ice Beam. Let's go! It's gone! <laughs> Alright, this thing's gonna hate Specs Muddy Water in a minute. Entei, okay. Um, Let me think. He's gonna want to Body Press something. I need to get off the field to start clicking Muddy Water, so let's try to U-turn myself out. I'm pretty sure I fail, but we'll U-turn out, and assuming that they want to go for, like, Body Press, I'll get in the... Actually, I can just get in the Tyranitar. I don't care if it goes down. Really, I don't. They're not going to Body Press the, the Finny, you know? I get burned, that's fine. I U-turned anyways. Let's get in the Tapu Finny. And I can Specs Muddy Water. Oh, God, this is where the issues come in, isn't it? Muddy Water, um... Muddy Water Protect's probably fine. Oh, we did, like, nothing to that guy. I hate that they get those moves. I hate it. Luckily, Aegislash does wall it out, so we might be able to win. Oh, wait, it straight up walls it out. Hold on, we win as long as we don't lose this guy. Alright, sweet. I can't get burnt. Yeah, no, we just, we just annihilate. Actually, let's, let's Specs Muddy Water Lash out. We, like, regardless of what comes in, it goes down to this. No, I'm, I'm gaming. No, because because the Age of Slash just beats it. Yeah, maybe I should have rock slided. Okay, here's Rilla. Go for another Muddy Water and a fake out here onto the Registeel because Polytoad goes down. Kind of wish I was Swords Dance now just to really rub it in. Cool. Yeah, they set up the rain for me too, which is more of a benefit to me than them. There's Entei, let's go for another Specs Muddy Water. Um, I just Grassy Glide here and hope for a crit for some extra damage. They're going to Extreme Speed, that's fine. Connect? Oh, we missed both. That is not good. That is not very good. Uh, let's Muddy Water and I actually... Oh, man, I hate this. Because they can protect and, like, KO me next turn with extreme speed. Because I took 45% from that. Oh my god, why'd I have to miss that one? Let's go for it. If I get my weakness policy, if they do sacred fire me, I, I could win here, but I might get burnt. Regardless, I deal the same amount of damage. Yeah, I have to go for the crit, basically, because of that, that miss. Alright, KO. Oh! <laughs> We did it! Good game! Good game, sir! Good game! Dang the crit. Yeah. Did you have a move to hit AG on steel? No? Okay, so the miss earlier mattered. We good. <laughs> Just making sure. So I got I got revenge for that miss. Look, we already got the Age of Slash win. That's all that matters. We we're, we're good. We're gaming. We're fine. We're playing at a high capacity here that no one can match. I 
I mean, my concern is they might. I would imagine they don't because their last move kind of has to be rest. So Aegislash is just a hard counter to that sort of thing. Man, should I run... I don't want to drop my 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 steel move for Swords Dance, but it could be the play. It really isn't. It really isn't. The steel move's too good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Ooh. I haven't seen this in a minute. It absolutely hates the fact that Drake Azult is a Pokemon that exists and is able to play in this format. It also hates Tapu Fini. Do I do the funny? I could do the funny and just lead off with like Tapu Fini Drake Azult, or Tapu Fini Tyranitar and go for Rock Slide flinches. Aegislash also is fairly good in this, um, and I think I like my, my Rillaboom for late game. Oh, I could also go with AV Lando. Let's do this lead. Um... I should do this thing because I can switch in Titar. I think I bring AV Lando, yeah. Okay, that's pretty much the lead that I wanted. The Specs Muddy Water should annihilate you, I think. You feel me? Let's go for the Iron Head. Specs Muddy Water. That's still going to do a lot. I missed the Torkoal, which kind of sucks, but... Ah, if only I close combated. Miss your move that cannot miss. Alright. Uh, let's go Lando and King Shield. Lando should go down to this. That's good. I got a nice little, uh, nice little attack drop on you, which is all I really needed. Uh, and now I can go for Muddy Water and get in my Tyranitar. And I should be able to pick up a double KO here, because they shouldn't be able to KO my Finny under any circumstances. Alright, don't miss. Nice, okay. Two turns left to Trick Room. Gotta play around that, but honestly, I'm feeling pretty decent. Because Tyranitar is in the sand, and I still have my Aegislash, so... I think all I do is I get in my AG here, eat the hit, and go for, um... I can go for a... I protect here? I think I protect the next turn because I can rock slide flinch. So we'll lash out this turn onto Indeedee. Upping hand Dazzling That's fine. Because now I can go for Iron Head onto Hatterene. And if they activate my weakness policy, we're in a winning position. Alright. This is going to be close. Let me think. How does this play out? Um, King Shield. They do have Expanding Force. I just want to make sure I return to that form. Because otherwise I'm in trouble. I think I can win this. Um, actually, no, I'm going to get outsped by the Hatterene. But I mean, they, I don't think they have the fire move. I don't think they have the fire move. Because they would have clicked it. Alright, this should KO. If they Trick Room here, I might still be able to win. They did Trick Room. Yeah, I King Shield here and then I Iron Head the next turn. They shouldn't be able to KO me because of my bulk. Yeah, they just have Expanding Force. GG. Because I Iron Head into Shadow Sink next turn. Nice. Cool. I'm kind of digging this team. This team does kind of go hard. Ooh, okay. Versus uh, just standard stuff. What's my ranking? I didn't check. Oh, wait, I can check on this screen. 1390. Okay, sorry. I was looking at, like, my own stream to figure that out. Um... Hmm. I'm really digging the Finny lead if I'm brave enough, but I simply am not. I am just not that brave. Let's go with uh, something a little bit more safe. I think Rillaboom Landers is actually fairly okay. Tapu Finny in the back. Um, and Aegislash. You too, Marcos. Shush. Shush. Aegislash could go hard, I just can't lead off with it. And Bub's on alt, by the way. Ah, uh, okay.
turn the timer on her. It is Urshifu Dark, okay. Uh, I'm pretty okay with this. Yeah, I mean, we're calc to live. I could fake out this Death Grips reference and go into my Finny here. Hmm, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Let's do this. All right, live that. That's definitely not choice banned, judging by the damage. Uh, and I can now get Tapu Fini back in. Let's go Specs Ice Beam and switch into Lando. Woodhammer. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I should KO. I do not KO. Uh, do I want to keep it? I do want to keep this around. Like, late game versus Incineroar, it's quite good. But, um, let's go with you. I'm going to try to U-turn on you. Yeah. Alright, that goes down. We're going to U-turn out of there. And let's get in the... I mean, I can get in Aegislash now. That is an option, but I don't like it. I'm going to go Finny to force them to fake out the Finny. I'm going to go for Muddy Water, and we can close combat this thing since we're capped to live. Capped to live that. Cool. Weakness Policy. We now have Weakness Policy Shadow Sneak, which is very based. We have 52% health on Lando, which isn't great. They could parting shot my my Incin, or uh, parting shot my Age Slash with Incin, though. That's the only issue. I just don't want to get grassy glided. Let's see if I get parting shotted. That goes down. That's great. Parting shot. Yeah, it does bypass. So we're going to lose that weakness policy boost. Um, but is this the end of the world? I don't think it's the end of the world, to be honest. Ooh, is it? I mean, I can close combat the Incin, but I'm pretty sure this doesn't work out. They should fake out the Lando. Hmm. I have to dodge a Muddy Water. But I might be able to win. They Moonblast? Okay, please KO. Oh, they're faster. Okay. It's time. Muddy Water. No, okay. GG, well played. All right. Uh, how much time do I have? I still have time for more. Okay. Uh, this one is an issue. Because that is a Zarina. Hold on. Sorry. I mean, am I ever going to use the Strakeazole? I kind of want to use it because I'm never going to get to, you know? I could lead off Aegislash here. Aegislash lead isn't that bad. Actually, Aegislash Rillaboom does force a couple of really annoying leads. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, Let's just force it, man. I'm never going to use this guy. Let's do it. Okay, that's pretty okay. I can King Shield here, and one would assume... I should be able to actually secure this KO. I'm going to do it. I think they want to fake out Sacred Fire, so I might as well just try it. You know? Alright, I do get the KO. 
that manages to work out. They're also slower than my guy, which is really nice. Um, I get the accuracy drop, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go Drake Azult. I think I want to like make sure I hold on to this guy. They might knock off me because they just showed that they wanted to, so I can just do that. Let's go for the Iron Head onto you and Drake Azult. Grassy Glide. Okay, please knock off. <sighs> Coward. <laughs> Okay. Double Grass Glide could be kind of annoying, but I should live one, 25, 42. Eh, it's a little bit rough. I should outspeed both of these guys though, so I can just go Tapu Fini and take care of them. And I probably want to get rid of Rillaboom first, so Tapu Fini plus Bolt Beak should do it. Yeah, nice. Okay, uh, and now I can go Aegislash. Slash. him yay we win okay thank you all for watching um if you enjoyed if you're watching on twitch leave a like subscribe do all that uh and or sorry if you're watching on youtube leave a like and subscribe uh, and if you're watching on twitch you know follow the channel but yeah uh, i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice one uh bye